Hello Pilates and yoga lovers, welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. This is it. Finally, day 28 of our workout challenge. We've been following me for the last 28 days and I'm thankful and grateful to each one of you. Joining me every day to get stronger and healthier during these social distancing days. If this is your first time, please go back to day one to slowly progress safely and effectively. So come and join me to my last day of Pilates and Yoga Total Body Workout. Okay, friends, let's start standing up well. We're going to do some deep breathing, warm up our hips, open. And we'll take a deep breath through your nose, place your hands on your waist, and roll your shoulders backward with your breaths. Inhale, exhale. Now open your arms overhead, reach to the heavens, and down blow. Inhale, exhale. Now spread your right leg to lean to the right, reach with your right hand forward. Feel the love, the stretch in your hips and reach to the left and blow. Place your hands, you feel that love, the stretch on your front of your hips. Inhale and now open again and down. We're going to do a slight bend on your knees and then reach to the right and slowly go down a gentle triangle leaning on your knee back to the center and blow inhale and exhale now reach to the left gently bend your left knee and overhead place your hand reach over and down blow open your arms apart reach to the heavens down back to the shoulder level reach to the right lean to your right knee overhead follow your hand with your eye gaze inhale overhead and blow down to your shoulder level reach to the left lean on your left knee and reach diagonally to the left open your arms and overhead again inhale reach to the right right knee reach to the right side diagonal feel a gentle pull exhale reach down and blow inhale slightly bend like a plie lean to your left knee and slowly Overhead, diagonal to the left. Feel that beautiful stretch. Back to the center and blow. Shoulder level with your hands. Reach to the right. Overhead, inhale. Exhale. Back, reach out again with your arms. Lengthen. Lean to your left knee. Inhale, open your arms apart. Slowly lean on your left. And overhead to the left. Inhale. Exhale, back down and blow reach out plie stand up straight and play down and reach to the right lean on your right side overhead inhale and exhale down blow plie reach to the left lean on your left knee overhead inhale and exhale open your arms again exhale inhale Reach to the right, place your hand on your right knee, overhead, feel a little bit deeper now, we're going to slowly reach more, open your arms apart, exhale, stand up and bend, plie, reach to the left, inhale, place your hand overhead, exhale and blow, open, and now we're going to start with triangle, place your right hand on your right leg and reach forward, inhale, lengthen, exhale to triangle to the ceiling and then overhead and blow and then back down to the foot deep deep hip lunge inhale exhale to the center open your feet apart bend forward and inhale lean to the left this time exhale reach overhead and back to your knee reach down slowly lower yourself reach to the ceiling inhale overhead exhale 
And now slowly bend forward, hold it there to warm up our legs more and stretch your low back, glutes and hamstrings. Inhale and exhale and slowly go up. We're going back to warrior pose to the right. Turn to the right, bend your knees, reach forward gently and slow range of motion to stretch a little bit more. Up and down, small pulse and down to triangle reach for your ankle look up gently overhead inhale exhale back warrior pose to the left small pulse range of motion slowly lean to the left you can point your thumb up best if you can keep it down lean to your left ankle overhead with your right exhale <sighs> inhale up and back to triangle now overhead again warm up your shoulders more we're gonna go up and down this is yoga and pilates so there's a little bit fast pace for your pilates program plie overhead slightly bend your knees and we're gonna do a lovely go to the edge of the mat overhead scoop down we're gonna bend forward for a forward fold reach down to the mat inhale and exhale, hug your elbows side to side to gently stretch your back and your shoulders. Lift it up, inhale, and exhale, down. Inhale, slowly go up. Keep your back straight, lengthen your spine, exhale. Inhale, feel the lovely stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes. Exhale, hold it there, I'm swinging my body left and right gently and my elbows now i'm gonna place my hands on the mat slightly bend my knees to my chest inhale and exhale to extension to stretch more slightly bend again knee to chest inhale exhale and blow slightly bend inhale exhale to straight and now open your feet apart and we're gonna place your hands at the back and Clasp your fingers, interlock them, and slowly pull it up to extension to stretch your shoulders. Now we're going to do monkey walk. Belly button in. Exhale, we're going to do chaturanga. Bend your elbows to chaturanga. Exhale back up to upward facing dog. Feel that beautiful stretch. Inhale, back to downward dog. And we're going to do a beautiful one-legged downward dog after this hold. Start with your left if you like or your right, whichever you like first. And slowly hold it there up. Inhale and bend. And try your best to touch your left heel on your left glutes or your buttock. To stretch your quads, inhale to extension. And knee to nose. Exhale. Inhale, one-legged downward dog still with your left. Slowly bend your knee. Exhale to stretch your quads and your deep hip flexors. Inhale and exhale. We are slowly going back to knee to nose. Hold it there. Inhale up to one-legged downward dog on your left. Try to engage your core. Slowly bend your knee. Exhale. Now inhale. We are going back to one-legged downward dog. And slowly lower our leg down to open. I'm placing my foot out of the mat. And place my hand pointing to the ceiling and hold it there. Inhale. Back to the mat on your hand first and then one-legged downward dog. Exhale. Now slowly bend your knee to your nose. Inhale. Exhale to one-legged downward dog. Hold it there. Inhale. Exhale. Hold it and slowly bend your knee. Inhale and slowly lower it again to the side, out the mat. 
and reach to the sky of your left hand. My left foot is out of the mat to the right side. Inhale to downward like a dog. Slowly pull myself down to stretch more. Exhale to nose. Knee to nose. Inhale to downward dog again. Exhale to bend your knee. And down. Now let's go to the right leg. March a little bit left and right to further stretch your legs. Right leg up, one leg downward dog on your right. Inhale. Exhale, bend. Hold it there gently. Feel your mind body connection, knee to chest. Inhale. Exhale up to one leg downward dog on your right. And slowly bend, exhale. Hold it there. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, knee to nose. Belly button in. Engage your core. Exhale up. <sighs> One legged downward dog. Inhale, bend your right knee. Try to touch your glutes with your heel to further stretch. And exhale, we're going to slowly let go of your hand and your foot to land it outside the mat. My right foot is out of my mat to the right. And place the hand again back to the mat, back to downward, one-legged downward dog. Exhale. Bend your knee again. Inhale. And knee to nose. Exhale. Inhale up. One-legged downward dog. Exhale slowly, bend your knee, inhale, exhale, feel that stretch and slowly lowering out again, out of the mat to the right, reach to the heavens, inhale, and exhale back to the mat, one legged downward dog and exhale, inhale knee to nose, exhale, to one legged like downward dog. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, slowly go out of the mat again. Slowly twist. Reach for the heavens of your right hand, one hand on the mat, and back to the mat again to one legged like downward dog. Inhale, exhale, knee. And I'm gonna twist now underneath, cross up my leg to stretch my. IT band on my right. Inhale and exhale. And back to one legged downward dog again of my right. Inhale and down. Now my left. Inhale again to down one legged downward dog my left. Exhale to cross midline. This is a lovely stretch on your IT band and your gluteus medius. Exhale. Inhale, back to one-legged downward dog. Exhale, down. Okay. One more time. Inhale, lift with your left. Exhale to bend your knee. Inhale, back out of the mat. Reach to the heavens. Feel the stretch and the flexibility. Exhale down. If this is difficult, just continue with the one-legged downward dog or just downward dog for beginners. Inhale. And exhale, knee to nose and blow. Inhale up. One-legged downward dog. Exhale, bend your knee. Slowly go out to knee. Put your foot down. March again, left and right. To stretch your calf and your hamstrings. Now lift with your right leg. One leg and downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knee. Slowly twist. Feel the stretch. And knee to nose. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale up. Try to engage your core muscles. Your shoulders might be exhausted now. 
If this is too tiring, pause. You can always resume when you're ready. Inhale. Twist. Exhale, knee to nose and blow. Inhale up, one-legged dog with your right. Kiss your core. Try your best, bend your knee. Exhale. Inhale. Slowly turn, put your right foot to the right side of the mat gently. Control. Hand pointing to the ceiling. Inhale. And back to the mat, exhale. To one-legged downward dog, place your right hand back to the mat, but keep the right foot up. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, one-legged downward dog. Exhale, to bend your knee. Feel the beautiful stretch. Hold it there. Inhale, and exhale to slowly place it again out of the mat, overhead to the ceiling of your right hand. Inhale back to the mat, exhale to downward dog, single-legged. Inhale, exhale knee to nose. Inhale one-legged downward dog of your right foot up. Exhale to bend your knee. Inhale, slowly place it out of the mat again and twist up. Inhale, placing your hand pointing to the ceiling. Exhale, back to the mat to single leg downward dog and blow. <sighs> Knee to nose, inhale and cross it past midline to stretch your IT band on your right hip and right thigh. Inhale and exhale to downward dog. Exhale down. Now place your left foot up, single leg on your left. Downward dog, exhale, cross past midline to stretch your IT band and blow. Inhale and exhale, hold. Now place again up, single leg downward dog on your left. Exhale down. Back to downward dog. And slowly go to a plank position. Place your hip down slowly to upward facing dog and blow. Inhale. Feel that lovely stretch on your low back and slowly bend your knee for cobra. Exhale. Inhale down to child pose. And stretch your low back and blow. This is a 90 minute yoga and pilates. I'm warming up gently to endure the longer workout today, to space it out. Inhale and exhale and relax. Feel your mind-body connection and now place your hands and knees to cat and camel. I'm going to place my hand inward to stretch my wrist more. If you can't do this, it's okay to continue with pointing forward. So cat and camel angry cat and camel up round reverse and round your shoulders belly button in scoop it up exhale look up extend inhale scoop your pelvic in exhale to belly button in inhale look up Reverse round, exhale to angry cat, round your shoulders in, inhale. It's a beautiful lower doses up and down. Now place your hands back to the center and we'll do bird dog. Left hand and then right leg. You're touching your knee to your elbow, opposite. Left hand and right leg up, inhale, exhale, touch. If you can't reach, that's fine. You try your best. To do the diagonal for your obliques, your abdominal, and to lengthen. Inhale and down. Now let's go with your right hand, your left leg. Inhale and exhale. Reach. This is a great abdominal workout and core engagement. Exhale. 
I usually give this to my back pain cases once the inflammation is less. Inhale, reach with your right, exhale, extend. Belly button in and blow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, touch your elbow to your knee. Inhale and exhale. Try to pull your belly button in, engage your core. Inhale, reach and down. Let's try it again. Left hand reach, right leg up. Exhale, left and right. Belly button in, reach and blow. Inhale and exhale. Mind body connection is important. With your breathing, inhale, reach, exhale. Touch, inhale, reach, belly button in and down. Now right hand and left leg, inhale, touch, gently, exhale, reach, belly button in and blow. Elbow to knee, inhale, exhale, belly button in and blow. Inhale, reach and blow belly button in and blow reach and blow belly button in and blow last one inhale and down and now we're gonna slowly lift your knees up your right knee up first and slowly bend your knee and back straight bend and straight keep my knee level with my hip I'm doing a knee curl while my leg is up. Inhale and exhale and blow. Try to extend and bend. Keep everything, my hip and shoulders, leveled with my wrists. Bend and extend. Belly button in. And now I'm holding it in this position. And small range off, up and down. Keeping my back neutral. Try not to twist your spine, target your glutes. Right leg first up, hold it and down. Now let's do it with your left. Extend and bend, extend and bend. Keeping it up in that position, inhale and exhale. Squeeze your stomach in and you can squeeze your glutes as well to activate it more. Extend and bend, belly button in and blow. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze as hard as you can. Belly button in and blow. Now small range up and down. Engage your core muscles. Small range. As long as you're not twisting your spine. It's about proper flexibility. Extend and down. And now slowly I'm going to lift my knees off the mat. Just a few inches off the mat to engage my core. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it there and down. One more time, I'm placing my toes closer to the mat so I have better grip. Inhale and down. Last one, lift your knees off the mat. Take a deep breath, hold it there and down blow. And now we're going to do cat and camel again with your knees down. Because the next one after this, we're going to lift our knees off the mat while doing cat and camel. So let's do it again. Slowly go up to camel. Inhale to angry cat. Exhale to camel. Pull your belly button in. And now I'm going to lift my knees off the mat and cat and camel. So this is really difficult. If you can't do cat and camels in a plank position with your knees slightly off the mat, you continue with just cat and camel. Inhale and down blow. Okay, friends, let's do another set of extension. Bend your knee and extend in curling back and forth. Inhale and exhale. Lengthen and curl. Still keeping your knee off the mat and your foot while doing the curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale to bend. Try to engage your core and not twisting your pelvis. And now small range up and down, inhale up, exhale down, belly button in and blow, inhale and exhale, belly button in and blow, 
try to hold it there and down. Let's do it on now on your left. Extend and bend. Belly button in and pull. Inhale, exhale. Extend and bend. Target your hamstrings and your glutes. Isolating the muscle will help strengthen them in separate movement patterns. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bend, extend. Bend and extend. And now hold it there for a small range up and down on your left. Inhale and exhale. Keep your breathing and hold it there and down below. And now we're going to do it gentle. Lift your knees off the mat for a plank on your knees. And lift it up for a few inches off the mat. Not too high. I'm keeping my shoulders and pelvic level. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and down. Last set. Lift. Inhale. Exhale. Belly button in and blow. And now we do cat and camel to warm up again. Angry cat, round your shoulders, exhale to reverse round, inhale to rounded cat, exhale, look up, feel the spine stretching more. The more you do this, the, you realize the deep spinal muscles are getting more flexible. To prepare for a little bit more advanced yoga and pilates today. Now lift your knees off the mat and then cat and camel. So this is very challenging to some so make sure do this only if you can inhale exhale belly button in and blow and down and now child pose to rest your shoulders and your low back inhale exhale twist to the left to stretch your right shoulders and your ribs and twist to the left right side to stretch your left shoulders and now on your elbows we're going to do some extension in this position let's start lifting your left to extension toes pointing away from you and small range up and down try to engage your core not twisting your spine keeping it level inhale exhale belly button in and hold it there and circles clockwise inhale exhale engage your core five four three two one and now reverse reverse circle small circles like a size of a small dish control inhale and outward to the side 45 degrees out of the midline inhale exhale back to the center belly button in and blow try to engage your core muscles inhale out and back to the center belly button in and blow inhale and exhale belly button in and blow two more inhale exhale and down now let's do the right side lift keep it straight point your toes up and down small range of motion inhale and exhale belly button in and blow engage your core and circle small circles you can start clockwise or counterclockwise whichever you like first five four three two one and reverse ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and out to the side 45 degrees inhale and exhale belly button in engage your core muscles and blow inhale out exhale back belly button in and blow inhale exhale belly button in and blow two more inhale out exhale back belly button in and blow last one inhale and down okay friends we're gonna slowly lower hips down the mat pelvis down toes grab the mat and lift our plank position and hold it there and shift your body forward and back i'm just moving my toes grabbing the mat to lengthen so i'm shifting my body weight forward and back keeping the plank position inhale exhale two more one and down blow now extend your hands we're going to slowly lift with your right left foot first off the mat hip extension and then your right belly button in and blow alternating left leg 
and then right keeping my core engaged targeting my glutes muscles left and right belly button in and blow engage your core muscles lift extend and now bend my toes and lift off the mat and down so bend my knee lift it off the mat and extend down bend lift small range and down blow alternating again right and then left belly button in and blow right leg up left leg up with your breaths right and lift off the mat and down left up down blow right lift down blow inhale exhale belly button in and blow left leg lift and now i'm gonna hold it in this position and small range nine eight seven six five four three two one and down now let's go to the right side bend and lift for 10 times slowly lift it up 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and down blow now both knees bend and lift off the mat 10 9 8 7 6 5 four three two one and hold it there and down hold it for a few seconds and down blow and extend to seal bend your elbows and your knees at the same time for your posterior chain muscles your upper back and low back muscles pull it tight your elbows pull it as much as you can like rowing position inhale and exhale this is like a breaststroke in swimming inhale exhale belly button in and hold it three two one and down blow continue again inhale hold it Feel that nice isometrics and reach for your feet and we're going to rock forward and back. So we're going to extend back as we rock up. Belly button in and slowly pulling my toes towards me more as I go forward. Back and forth with your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Feel that beautiful stretch on your shoulders, your chest, and your hip flexors and quads. Rock back and forth and down. Okay, friends, that was lovely stretch. Let's stretch our back, lengthen, look up and down. Let's do it again. Extend your elbows. Inhale, look up gently with your breaths and blow down. So let's do this again. Inhale through your nose, lift, elbow straight. Exhale, down, blow. Exhale, down. Inhale, up again, lengthen. Your spine feel the beautiful stretch exhale down <sighs> inhale up gently look up lengthen your spine improve your posture with this exercise this is also great for anyone with sciatica with a posterior lateral disc herniation inhale up exhale blow <sighs> Belly button in, inhale, extend your spine and slowly bend your knee for cobra. Exhale and hold it there and blow and down. And now we're going to go back up to your knees and hands and slowly back to your plank position. Position your foot and we're going to do knee dips. We're going to slowly lower your knees and lift it up. Target your core lengthening your spine and your hamstrings to strengthen your legs inhale bend extend eccentric control of your hamstrings and now lift alternating left and right while we are our hand plank position inhale exhale right leg up left leg up try to keep it leveled your foot up not too high to only level with your hip just to challenge your core for this lovely plank. 
right and left belly button in and down below back to child pose to stretch your shoulders to rest inhale twist again your right over your left stretch your rib cage and blow and left over right inhale and exhale and blow now let's do a round two for everything we did on your elbows place your hands together clasp them if you want and lift with your left foot up knee straight and let's do a simple range of motion up and down without twisting your spine eight seven six five four three two one and circle clockwise ten nine eight seven six five four three two one small range counterclockwise inhale nine eight seven six five four three two one and now slightly low to the side 45 degree out inhale and exhale keeping your pelvis leveled with your spine inhale exhale try not to twist your spine keep it control with your breathing belly button in out and in inhale exhale belly button in and down now let's go to the right leg and small range up and down inhale exhale belly button in and blow six five four three two one and small circles ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and reverse ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and out diagonal 45 degrees nine eight seven six five four three two and one and down blow and now we're going to lengthen our legs down and slowly lift it up plank position hold it there and shift your body forward and back another plank set of plank on your elbows i'm using my toes for momentum for shifting my body weight back and forth this is great for your toe strength as well and your shoulder stability your scapula inhale exhale shift back and forth and down okay lengthen your spine reach forward with your hand and lift your left foot up alternating with your right exhale inhale with your right exhale with your left or whichever leg you want to start first left or right lift as high as you can without twisting your spine engaging your core muscles inhale right exhale with your left belly button in and blow right leg bend and lift it off the mat small range and down alternating left lift and down blow right lift down blow left lift down blow inhale exhale try to use your control when you do this left lift down blow right lift down blow inhale and exhale feel your breathing and your core engagement squeezing your abdominal muscles as well as your glutes muscles and down blow inhale lift and hold it there and we're going to small range up and down with your left leg keeping your knee off the mat targeting your left glutes inhale exhale bell button in and down now your right leg inhale twist to the right belly button in and lift your right leg up small range nine eight seven six five four three two one and down blow now both legs bend lift off the mat small range ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one 
and an extra one for hold and feel that beautiful stretch and down. okay friends seal lift your shoulders and back belly button in posterior chain muscles doing the second set of seal this is like butterfly stroke for those who love swimming i was a varsity swimmer when i was in college and high school inhale and hold it there for two more inhale and exhale last one and feel that beautiful stretch and down blow reach for your toes and foot grab it as much as you can inhale exhale rock your body forward and back engaging your core when you go up you look up as high as you can when you go down pull as hard as you can lifting your glutes targeting all those muscles when you rock forward and back on this lovely stretch and strength training of your whole body and down blow okay we're gonna stretch your back again on your hands and elbow straightening low back stretch inhale and exhale down blow <sighs> inhale up feel that beautiful stretch on your back exhale down and blow <sighs> something got to my nose inhale up belly button in and down blow <sighs> inhale up look up gently with your neck stretching and exhale down blow it's nice to take a break in between this lovely workout, especially it's going to be a 90 minutes. Exhale down. We're almost halfway through the program. Inhale up, look up, gently go down and blow. Belly button in, engage your core, extend and blow down. Inhale through your nose, look up gently and bend your knees to further stretch. Inhale and exhale and down both. Okay, friends, let's go to our hands and knees and lengthen our legs for a lovely plank. Keep your toes grounded and knee dips up and down. Your toes are important in order to do this properly. So back up and down, strengthen your core. Engage your core muscles with this when you go down. Just tap it gently and up. A few more to go and lift left and right. Belly button in and blow. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Lift it up, only level with your hips. You're not twisting your spine, engaging your core. Plank and leg lifts. Right and left. Belly button in, keeping your shoulder level with your wrists. Lift as high as you can, but not to the point of it twisting your spine. And now down to child pose. Rest your low back and your shoulders and wrists. Inhale, exhale. Engage your core muscles and back now. Hands and knees again. And we're going to the plank position again. And we're going to shift our body left and right, tapping our shoulder alternating tap your left shoulder with your right tap your right shoulder with your left hand cross your chest inhale and exhale belly button in and blow inhale exhale belly button in and blow down to child pose to rest Feel the beautiful stretch of your spine and your shoulders and wrists. Inhale and exhale back to your hands downward dog. Feel this beautiful stretch in your back and shoulder and single leg downward dog on your left. Inhale, exhale to bend your knee. Exhale all the way down now outside the mat to the left. And your left reaching to the heavens. Inhale back to the mat and downward dog with your left leg up. Exhale to knee to nose. Inhale back to downward dog. Exhale to bend your knee. Let's do another opening and lowering yourself to the side out the mat. Inhale. 
Lift with your left hand, pointing to the ceiling. Exhale back to the mat, lift your leg and cross past midline to stretch your IT band and overhead to the side, lifting your right hand, pointing to the ceiling and back to the plank position. Downward dog off your left, inhale and exhale bend out the mat, facing the ceiling with your left, your right back to the mat on your left inhale left leg up your left leg over your right past midline to stretch your it band and slowly lift your right hand pointing to the ceiling and hold it there and back to the plank to single leg downward dog on your left inhale and exhale and down now let's switch it up right leg downward dog and slowly bend your knee on your right exhale slowly twist down out to the right and lift your right hand pointing to the ceiling inhale and exhale back to downward dog this is a lot on the shoulders balance and control not to twist your shoulder be careful knee to chest or knee to nose inhale and exhale to downward dog inhale back to bending and slowly pass midline of your right leg towards your left out the mat and lift your left hand off the mat to point to the ceiling and get your balance it's a lot on the one side shoulder where you're leaning and back to downward dog single leg lift with your right bend your right knee inhale exhale out pointing to the ceiling of your right inhale back to the mat the mat is moving right now <laughs> it's hard to balance sometimes and if it's slippery be careful bend your knee to chest or nose inhale back to downward dog single leg exhale <sighs> pass midline your right foot towards the left out of the mat lift your left hand pointing to the ceiling inhale back to the mat exhale to downward dog single leg bend your knee on your right inhale out of the mat to the left balance pointing to the ceiling inhale back to the mat exhale single leg downward dog of your right exhale bend your knee to nose inhale single leg downward dog exhale to bend your knee past midline cross your right leg out of the mat to the left and lift your left hand pointing to the ceiling get your balance be careful in your mat if it's getting slippery inhale back to the mat both hands single leg downward dog on your right exhale to bend inhale out of your mat of your right foot exhale point to the ceiling on your right hand inhale back to the mat single leg downward dog it's getting harder now to balance if it's getting slippery inhale lift your foot Bend your knee to nose. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, single leg downward dog. We're almost done and doing this. Exhale, pass midline again. Up towards your left and lift your left hand, pointing to the ceiling. Balance with your one right side of your shoulder. Back to single leg downward dog of your right foot up. Exhale to bend and out to the mat. Lift your right hand, it's getting faster, back to the mat, single leg downward dog. Lift your foot, bend your knee, exhale knee to nose and blow. <sighs> Inhale up, downward dog. Exhale, pass midline. Lift your left hand up, pointing to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale back to the mat. Lift your right foot up, inhale, bend your knee, exhale and down. To child pose and rest your shoulders your back and your hips and relax here a little bit to recuperate on all those hard work okay hands and knees downward dog inhale and jump back to the front of the mat and exhale to standing reach to the heavens and out to warrior pose inhale bend your knees slowly to the right follow your gaze of your hands inhale down to the mat exhale 
Look up to the ceiling on your left hand. Inhale down to the mat, triangle or pyramid. Place your head on your knee on your right. Lengthen your hamstrings to a pyramid stretch. If it's tight, that's fine. Slowly lengthen it. Don't force it. And back to warrior. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, both hands forward. Exhale, twist trunk, twist under. Inhale, pointing to the ceiling. Exhale to warrior. Place your hands small at the back of your left hand. And inhale and twist to the right to open your chest. Exhale back. Inhale, reach forward down to the mat. Reach for your foot or toes, whichever you can, and pyramid. And lean forward with your hand at the small of your back. Exhale. <sighs> pyramid pose. Hold it there a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale back again forward to warrior pose. Exhale. Open your arms again forward. Lean a little bit. And slowly both hands again. High lunge. Both hands pointing to the ceiling. Inhale. And lower yourself. Exhale. Now let's do eagle pose. Right elbow resting in your left. Crisscross palms together and lean forward. Touching your elbows on your outside of your right knee. And turn your head and your trunk to the right. And hold it there. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale. And back up. And warrior pose. And now let's go to the left. Warrior pose. Lean to the left. Exhale. High lunge. Reach to the heavens. Both hands. And eagle pose. Now right over left. Bend forward. Four fold. Place your elbows to the outside of your left knee. And twist to the left. Inhale. And exhale. And blow. <sighs> And back up, inhale, open warrior pose. And now slowly lean forward, high lunge to the right. I'm going deeper to a deeper high lunge. Inhale and exhale, hold it there. And blow. Equal pose, right over left elbow, or you can do left over right, whichever you're comfortable. Place your elbows outside of the knee again and lean. So when you go deeper lunge, it's a little bit more difficult for your balance. Inhale. And exhale and blow. And now back to warrior pose to the left. Inhale. And deeper, higher lunge. Inhale. And exhale. Eagle pose in the lunge position. Place it on your knee and turn to the right. Inhale and exhale. This time I'm placing it in the inner thighs, my both elbows. Now high lunge again. Inhale, lower your legs, hands facing up to the ceiling. Reach as high as you can, open your arms. And let's go in the midline to do a figure four stretch. Left leg, front of your hip area. Cross. Place your hands if you need something to hold on, that's fine. And we're going to slowly bend forward. Slowly get your balance. My mat has a foam, so it's a little bit harder to balance. But if you have a less foam mat, that's easier. Place your left hand at the small of the back. Cross it. Inhale and exhale. And now we're going to slowly go up. After balancing, you might lose your balance, that's fine. As long as you get your mat and slowly come up with your balance and blow. Place your hands on your hips for support. Now your right leg forward, help it up to that position and slowly bend forward. Reach down to the mat. Inhale and exhale and place your hand up your right. The small of the back. If you can't, that's fine to keep your hands both on the mat. This is my weaker side of my leg, so sometimes balancing one leg is much harder for me on one side. 
and now we slowly go up get your balance inhale place your hands on the mat and open your legs to high lunge to the right inhale exhale and now place your hands a small back clasp interlock your fingers and bend forward for pyramid with your hands behind you exhale inhale and exhale to a prayer pose hands together lean on your right elbow to your right knee get your balance inhale and exhale reach on your left get your balance back to prayer pose and lift your left hand to the ceiling and twist trunk twist under and over exhale and back to high lunge inhale lower yourself as much as you can open to go to high lunge on the other side on your left inhale and exhale inhale place your hands interlock your fingers twist it out lean forward for a pyramid stretch knee to chest forward fold one leg inhale and exhale back to prayer pose and lean your left elbow on your left knee turn your body to the right inhale and exhale reach your right hand up and trunk twist under and blow inhale place your hand on the mat let's do a chaturanga then dasana inhale and exhale up to upward facing dog inhale downward dog and exhale to single leg downward dog on your right exhale bend your knee hold it there inhale extend again and down to lift and twist again and lift and down lift extend few repetitions and down one more twist extend and down last one bend kick and down let's do the left side downward dog single hold it there bend exhale <sighs> inhale down lift bend lift and down belly button in bend extend down two more lift bend extend down last one lift bend extend down to downward dog chaturanga dandasana elbow push up exhale to upward facing dog and downward dog and blow inhale upward facing dog again exhale to child pose inhale and exhale back to plank position downward dog inhale and slowly exhale left leg forward to a deep hip lunge lower your knee of your right which should forward for a pigeon stretch with a deep lunge position and if you can let go of your hand to balance and do a high deep lunge position you can do a king hip lunge position if this is difficult that's fine just try it with your hands on the mat and down below let's do it on the other side let's extend our leg on your left hamstring stretch forward fold inhale and exhale to deep hip lunge again exhale exchange back to plank downward dog chaturanga dandasana exhale to upward facing dog inhale to child pose exhale to relax inhale this time left foot forward again exhale bend your knee pigeon stretch in a lunge position king pigeon stretch get your balance if it gets difficult that's fine okay let's go back to our hands on the mat plank position downward dog plank chaturanga dandasana 
upward facing dog inhale exhale to downward dog right leg forward this time deep hip lunge reach for your left foot overhead if you can exhale this is difficult you don't have to copy me just continue with your deep hip lunge back again to the plank inhale exhale chaturanga dandasana upward facing dog exhale inhale to downward dog exhale right foot forward slowly bend your left knee which with your left hand overhead with your right hand to clasp your fingers together gently balance exhale back your hands to the mat inhale to downward dog exhale chaturanga upward facing dog inhale and exhale to downward dog and slowly go up the mat and slowly go up to standing one vertebrae at a time inhale and exhale overhead belly button scoop it down reach for the mat monkey walk forward exhale to chaturanga then dasana upward facing dog and blow and down the mat and now we're gonna lie on your side we're gonna do some pilates on your side lying hands overhead reach your elbow and knee and toes bend touch it if you can overhead and blow you can be on your elbow or lying all the way down to your side exhale bend touch and overhead bend your knee and your elbow touch exhale overhead inhale extend blow belly button in and blow and now bend extend exhale overhead touch your elbow and your knee overhead inhale exhale blow and now reverse touch your toes first and then your knees hands and toes elbows and knees reach touch extend overhead try to lengthen inhale exhale and blow belly button in and blow Touch your toes with your hands and elbows. Belly button in and blow. Inhale, exhale, blow. Belly button in and blow. And now we're going to our hands for a side plank. Modify it. Place your hand at the small of your neck area. So your elbow is pointing to the ceiling and we're gonna try to extend and back down. So we're gonna stretch your side obliques overhead and down. I'm using my body to deep crunch on my left side while I'm extending with my right elbow and bend and tap reach exhale and now I'm extending my right leg balance yourself shoulder leveled with my wrist and I'm gonna tap my elbow and knee and reach tap the floor and overhead with your left or your right inhale and exhale belly button in and blow inhale exhale reach and tap and now scoop under twist trunk twist and overhead and blow twist under inhale exhale and blow twist under exhale and blow belly button in and blow scoop under exhale blow belly button in and blow scoop under inhale exhale overhead belly button in and reach and blow now place your hand on your hip then slowly lift your right foot up pointing away inhale exhale or toes pointing you to target your glutes more if you're pointing away it's your it band more and your leg muscles if it's pointing towards you it's your glutes and your core inhale exhale and down now let's go to the other side rest on your elbow or your neck on your shoulder and now i'm going to bend your knee and your elbow touch extend and down bend your knee touch with your elbow extend and overhead with your hand inhale exhale overhead and blow belly button in and extend inhale lift exhale squeeze your glutes and squeeze your core muscles in with your breaths tap 
extend and reach and we're going to do reverse a few more bend extend reach last one bend extend and reach and now we're going to do reverse extend first bend and then reach so it's reverse heel slides sliding down and lift abduction and extension inhale bend extend belly button in engage your core muscles and blow <sighs> inhale exhale and blow this is pilates based treatment time now to target your gluteus medius to help your pelvic alignment inhale exhale and blow inhale exhale and blow and now go into your hand for a side plank on your hand lift your hips off the mat on your knees and slowly extend to stretch your rib cage your ql muscles as well as your strengthening your obliques overhead and extend and back down slowly reaching arching over with your left arm overhead while your right hand is on the mat inhale and exhale extend your leg now to tap your knee and elbows inhale exhale belly button in and blow inhale exhale belly button in and reach engage your core muscles inhale exhale with your breaths belly button in extend and blow inhale exhale blow and now place your hand on your hip place your hand on the back of your head and lift up and down inhale exhale belly button in and blow my elbows pointing the ceiling while i'm lifting my leg up and down toes pointing forward to stretch and target my glutes and my core inhale lift and down and blow Whew, that was lovely now just lie on your back i'm gonna do some core exercises on your elbows first extend your knees and bend and down tabletop left leg and then right toes pointing away from you to target and lengthen your legs inhale exhale belly button in and blow pull it hard in inhale bend extend belly button in and blow inhale exhale squeeze your glutes and squeeze your core inhale bend extend and back center so i'm bending and extending up to the ceiling and down so right leg extend to the ceiling bend and down belly button in extend bend and down right leg extend stretch and down left leg extend back and down inhale extend bend and down belly button in feel your core and lower abdominal working hard inhale exhale bend and down belly button in kick bend and down and now we're going to do both legs crisscross left and right target your core muscles inhale exhale belly button in right over left over right exchange scissoring sideways inhale it's like a scissor belly button in feel your core muscles working hard with this exercise and bend down now we're going to do extend our legs and we're going to do gentle overhead with your arms first to slowly lengthen to double knee bends and extend to pilates stance open and bend while on overhead lift your knees straight heels together and down toes apart to a v and down bend and extend to stance pilates stance open your palms and overhead so i'm opening my palms up and opening my toes apart and bend together to table double tabletop inhale open exhale and down extend open bend and overhead with my hands alternating open bend and blow extend open your palms exhale down overhead with my hands extend toes apart bend overhead inhale open your toes exhale bend down inhale extend and reach and open your palms and small range of motion of abdominal crunch now okay and down hug your knees rock side to side to rest 
that was a lovely pilates for your core and abdominals now we're going to bridging to target your glutes lift your buttocks with your hands pointing to the ceiling and exhale one vertebrae at a time while overhead with your hands inhale lift exhale one vertebrae at a time and blow lift and when you go down bone to bone slowly go down the mat exhale inhale lift your buttocks squeeze as hard as you can overhead lift belly button in and down blow lift your glutes while your hands pointing to the ceiling overhead inhale lift exhale overhead with your hands inhale lift your glutes and down blow go making sure you're not overarching your spine when you go up Get your core and then butterfly in the bridging position. So you're separating your knees and your hands while you're in the bridge position. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze your glutes and your abdominal muscles as hard as you can. Inhale. Exhale. Belly button in and blow. Inhale and down blow overhead. Now we're going to place your hands on the mat to support. We're going to do it both overall over feet overhead this is advanced for those who can do this you can try make sure you're not hurting your neck toes pointing you and then lift it up as high as you can and twist to the left and then lift so this is your obliques you're twisting to the right i'm pointing my toes pointing to the ceiling when i bend i'm twisting it side to side inhale and exhale belly button in twist and blow so when you're twisting you're doing your obliques the reverse way inhale exhale as long as there's no neck pain you should be using your core muscles while doing this twist so i'm twisting my knees to the left and then bending it together now overhead again and then slowly lower it overhead more open your feet apart toes pointing you and then slowly go down one vertebrae at a time bone to bone to the mat exhale and then slowly sit up once you're halfway through to reach down to a pilates stance hold your legs get your balance and then overhead roll over inhale exhale let go place your hands on the mat again if you can't hold it you can hold it if you need to and then separate your feet and then slowly go down this is a lot of control in your core when you do it slowly exhale up to pilates stance to 45 degrees lengthen your spine inhale toes pointing away from you exhale roll over back inhale pull it a little bit more if you can place your hands on the mat toes pointing down the mat separate your feet and then slowly go down one vertebrae at a time feel your core engage and blow and now slowly go back up to pilates stance using your core inhale reach for your ankles if you can inhale exhale roll over back again let go of your hands exhale toes pointing the mat inhale and then slowly go down one vertebrae at a time or bone to bone to the mat exhale and slowly go up to roll up reach for your ankles or your legs extend your knees if you can inhale and exhale hold it there now this time inhale and exhale hold it one more breath inhale exhale and now slowly we are going to turn your head to the left to stretch your spine keeping your back straight turn to the right inhale and exhale to the left again belly button in to the right exhale and then let go of one leg whichever you like to let go and stretch your hamstrings roll back lie on your back to lengthen your hamstrings and your calf and pull it closer to you inhale and exchange to scissoring i'm not touching the mat when i go down it's elevated i'm trying my best not to rest there but for beginners if you need to rest you can put your foot down inhale and exhale belly button in and blow scissoring pull gently to stretch exhale and both legs up hug your knees or your thighs to open for v stretch open and close inhale exhale place your hands 
on behind your head to challenge but for those who are beginners you can hold behind your thighs to open and close inhale and exhale belly button in and blow inhale exhale belly button in and blow inhale exhale and hug your knees to your chest and double knee bends tap your knees overhead extend so you're tapping extend your knees when you let go overhead bend your knees tap extend your hands extend your legs inhale extend belly button in i'm lifting my shoulders off the mat to target my upper abdominal muscles extend to pull out stance belly button in and blow and down and rock side to side to rest we're almost done for our hour and 30 minute workout today now cross your left over your right and twist i'm resting my hand outside the leg to stretch my back and i'm turning my head to the left and i'm switching my right over my left placing my left hand outside my right and i'm turning my head to the right with my right arm stretch out inhale and back down and exhale open your arms apart lengthen and lift for bridge inhale and kick with your right and we're going to do small circle single leg bridge with circles on your elevated leg right leg circles clockwise first if you like inhale exhale belly button in and blow and then reverse position inhale exhale belly button in and blow inhale exhale belly button in and down blow now switch it up with your left circle inhale exhale belly button in and blow and now we're going to do small circles making sure it's size of a small dish pointing your toes away and then we're going to do reverse circles inhale and exhale belly button in it's a lot on your quads and balance on your core this is advanced pilates already always remember go back to my beginners program for those who are just starting overhead again with your hands inhale roll up extend reach for your toes and rest forward fold sit up straight place your hands on the mat we're gonna do a lovely reverse bridge on your hands this time lift your buttocks off the mat and slowly lift belly button in position your hands properly make sure it's leveled with your shoulder and slowly go up and down lift my hands and fingers pointing towards my toes belly button in and lift engage your core muscles and up and down belly button in and blow lift as high as you can and down belly button in and blow inhale exhale down and now we go into our knees kneeling position we are going to lengthen our quads by doing some kneeling and half kneeling position sitting on my heels I'm leaning with my left hand first and then overhead with my right to stretch my quads and my shoulders. Now hands forward, lean on your right, pointing away from myself and overhead and blow. Inhale back to the center to tall kneeling. And then now I'm reaching on my left heel, my left hand and overhead with my right. Inhale twist to the right rest my hand on my right heel and then overhead and blow this is a beautiful stretch to lengthen your trunk muscles your thoracic spine and then overhead and blow as well as your deep iliosolus twist and reach to lengthen your hamstrings your quadriceps all those lovely leg muscles and now we're going to slowly sit down gently when you do it gently you're targeting your quads for eccentric control inhale up to full extension of your hips and slowly lowering my hands are forward to challenge more but if this is too difficult you can place your hands on your waist area or hip area inhale exhale down and blow belly button in lift and slowly go down and blow inhale lift belly button open your arms and then reach again on your heel overhead to lengthen sit up straight again to kneeling tall kneeling overhead to the left 
and down blow. Now we're gonna lie on your back, slowly kneel. If you, this is hurting your knee, stop. Don't do this with knee pain. Overhead with your hand to stretch your hip flexors. We're gonna do wheel pose soon. Wheel pose is for advance. Place your hands on your shoulder level. Positioning is important to stretch your shoulders muscles and lift overhead and this time I want you to challenge yourself if you could lift your heels off the mat so just challenge on your toes we're going to go up and down inhale exhale down if you notice my fingers are pointing towards my toes inhale lift exhale belly button in and blow so up and down with my heels tippy toes if this is difficult, don't try. Always remember, do it slow and easy. And then slowly we're going down, head slowly go down and blow. Okay, guys, we're going to hug our knees to chest to stretch a little bit. Extend your legs, reach for your calf muscles or your leg. Hold it there, place your hands behind your head and we're going to do double leg circles to target your lower abdominal muscles. Small circles like a size of a small dish, inhale and exhale, reverse. Belly button in, feel your core engage with your breaths and down. Now we're going to do single leg stretch, reach for your ankles if you can. If you can't, just touch your knee, tap, alternating left and right, keep your head off the mat, do a left and right. Point your toes to the ceiling, inhale and exhale. Now let go, tap with your elbow with your knee, alternating for your obliques, inhale and exhale, belly button in and blow, extend your knees, tap with your knee with your elbows, inhale and then both knees and scrunch. Tap your both elbows with your knees, inhale, exhale, Not try not to to pull your head forward use your core muscles inhale exhale strengthen those abdominal muscles and hold it for three two one and down blow okay now we're going to tap gently double tabletop and extend bend and tap the mat gently tabletop and extension inhale double tabletop exhale extend belly button in and down blow inhale extend belly button in and blow inhale exhale belly button in extend bend and down tap bend extend bend and tap belly button in extend and blow down inhale extend down blow this is a lot on your lower abdominal muscles bend your knee and then tap gently and then down okay guys we're gonna hug your left Knee to your chest. We're cooling down now. We're going to stretch now to pull down properly. Glute stretch. Pull it out gently and pull it inward for your piriformis. And then your hamstrings. We're cooling down. We did great. You guys are amazing. We did past one hour now and you're still with me working hard. Knee to chest. Lengthen the other leg down to target more. Your glutes and then stretch for your hamstrings pull your head closer towards it to stretch more if you can lengthen and exhale down both knees hug it and butterfly stretch feet together knees apart rock side to side inhale and exhale and then feet apart happy baby rock side to side feet up this time touch your toes inhale and exhale overhead to stretch both of your hamstrings inhale and exhale and down blow and now slowly pull it forward more to stretch your low back and your hamstrings together inhale and then slowly go down to sitting we're gonna do mermaid position let's start with your right foot forward first and then your left behind and place your hands on your side to stretch your neck muscles side to side inhale and exhale now turn your head to the right to stretch your SEM muscles sternocleidomastoid to the left inhale and then lean on your right elbow and overhead with your left inhale and exhale down 
cooling down properly to prevent injuries. And now pigeon stretch your right side first, lean forward on your elbows, feel the stretch on your right glutes, inhale, look up, exhale, and blow, reach for your toes and your foot on your left, king pigeon stretch, place your elbow there on your foot if you can and look up and blow now let's go down again for a pigeon stretch inhale and look up exhale to stretch your iliosolbus on your left strengthen your this helps strengthen also your stabilizers of your pelvic muscles now let's switch it up mermaid position on your left leg forward first and side to side next stretching inhale and exhale and Turn your head to the left and to the right. Inhale and then lean on your elbow overhead with your right hand. Exhale down. Inhale overhead. Exhale down. Now pigeon stretch on your left leg. Inhale down. Rest to your elbows. And exhale up. Reach to a king pigeon stretch. Rest your elbow on your hand. I know we're exhausted and tired, but it's a good tiredness. It's good to feel this hard work we did together on our last day of 28 day workout challenge. And it's beautiful, beautiful work, everyone. And now we're slowly stretch our hamstrings on the left. I can't do a split yet. That's one of my goals. I never know how to split even as a child. So I think it's feasible as long as you work hard and lengthen up. Because I know I'm almost there when I started learning how to split again. It's my first time really making it happen. Inhale and exhale. I think with hard work, we can do this together. And exhale, slowly go down to the other side. Don't hurt yourself. If you can't do a split, that's fine. We're slowly building it up. Just continue with the pigeon stretch. Now I'm lengthening my right. This is my tighter side for both of my hamstrings of my right and my iliosolbus on my left. Inhale, exhale up, belly button in and down. I'm doing forward fold and extension. This helps strengthen your glutes muscles. They said that it's a stabilizer when you, you can do a split, but it takes a lot of dedication to make it work. Inhale and exhale down to straddle for middle split. I don't know how to do middle split yet as well, but this is one of my goals as well. And lean forward as much as you can to lengthen your hip groin muscles. When you build muscle, it takes a lot of repetitions to slowly lengthen. And when you do weight training program, op open your arms apart, open your feet more. It takes a lot of months and months of dedication as well to be consistent to see results. Lean forward gently to stretch more. Exhale up and twist to the right. Inhale and forward fold to the right to stretch more of your hamstrings. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Belly button in, engage your core muscles still, even stretching to keep them strong and healthy. And now open your arms and overhead, one more forward stretch. Inhale and exhale. Place your feet together. We're going to cross our legs. Place your feet forward. And we're going to do some neck stretching in this position. So lower your knees to the right and turn your head to the left. And now to the other side, lower your knees to the other side, turn your head to the right. Now I'm going to cross my leg of my left and slowly lower both of my knees to the right and turn my head to the left. Inhale and then cross over to my right to twist to the left and my head to the right and blow. And now cross legged position. We're going to do eagle pose, left over my right elbows and lift up to stretch and down. My palms are together and blow my wrists. If you can't, that's fine. There's no perfect pose. Now left over right, wrist straight if you can. 
inhale and exhale lift and down gently to cool down properly to stretch your upper back muscles and now place your hands on the small of your back interlock your fingers and twist out and bend forward for forward fold inhale and exhale open your arms out and look up your chest muscles and that's it i'm hoping you're feeling so much stronger and healthier doing this 28 day workout challenge if you want to follow me please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you are updated i'm so thankful and grateful to each one of you for joining me on this challenge please leave a message on my social media for any questions suggestions or requests or leave a comment on my youtube i'll, I'll be uploading again my regular three days a week until my next challenge thanks again for joining me and doing the social distancing always remember be safe be well and healthier you until next time bye